let's just talk straight about it, right? You came, um, just like many of these people that are watching this right now, you're, you're struggling with something in your life. You set up a call, you came, you talked to me. It's been, it's been what, three, four months? You've been four, four months, I think. Four yeah. months, right? And, and yeah. tell me about before those four months or tell them about before, before you started working with me, what was going on in your life, man? It was drugs, drinking, struggling, lack of being a present father, things like that, right? Yeah, yeah. I uh, recently divorced or split up with the wife and she was with another guy and I was a mess. I just, I was laid off drinking all day. I get up, start drinking, drink, drink, drink. I hardly got my kids. I mean, I just angry, mad at the world, mad at her, mad at him. You know, I, I was in a horrible spot. I actually went out searching to, to shoot him a couple of times. It was, it was really bad. I remember you told me that. I'm glad, I'm glad you didn't do that. Right. Right. Yeah. Good thing I never found him. God must've been, having some angels watching over me. <laughs> so, so yeah, you, you came, I remember you were a little bit, I don't even want to say you were skeptical. You were just ready to be able to be done with it. You wanted something, you know, in, in, in the program, in the comeback, when work with me, we, we go either way, right? You can get control of your life or you can get control of not drink at all. Right. You can keep it in your life or you can't, you chose to not drink at all. Right. Right. And, and no drugs, no drinking. You've been four months on this. Yes, sir. Biggest Love thing me. you can't kick is cigarettes, right? That's the one I still got to work on. Yeah, I don't help with that. I mean, I'm sure we could, but that's not what I do. So, what do you think? Um, you know, you, the biggest impact was it the mindset? Was it the confidence? Was it the overall package? Without giving away too much of exactly what we do back here, what do you think has been the biggest piece that's been helpful for you to ultimately get past that pit? Right, the depression, the guilt, the anger, the hurt, the 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 not being able to perform and be the dad you want to be, the man you want to be. Was it was it the mindset shift? What was your what was your biggest takeaway so far? Um, I mean, honestly, it was the mindset and my self-confidence. I, I thought that I would never amount to anything more than a drunk. You know what I mean? And you started making, helping me to realize maybe I could be. And then I started doing positive things, started running, started working out. A lot of punching bags because I was tired of hitting, hitting the walls. <laughs> and all that stuff kind of just built my confidence made me made me like who start to like who I am again and so I started watching training videos and, and hitting the bag and working hard at it and, and it felt good I mean it, it just kind of brought me to life would you ever want to go back to who you were before oh god I don't know. never <laughs> you feel like you're in control of your life your thoughts your emotion your situation now definitely definitely how much uh how much commitment do you think it took for you to do that? What has it done for your commitment? That little piece, what has it done for commitment in your whole life as far as showing up for your kids, showing up for your business, showing up for your, uh, your health, showing up for everything? I mean, it's 360 degrees. I have just spun around and everything's wonderful. Like I, I spent a lot more time with my girls, a lot more one-on-one -on -one time, personal time. And, and I'm killing it at work. I just got a raise. They said they've noticed a difference. I mean, everything, I got a positive mindset, and now all these other positive things are, are just happening around me. It's changed my life completely. That's awesome, man. I, I can't even begin to explain and tell you how proud I am. You've been, one thing I do know is you're consistent. So I'm going to give you a little bit of, like, like positivity. I see you show up on every Every call, you show up prepared, you show up accountable, you, you ask for the questions like, hey, Mark, I'm here, like, I got to struggle, can I get a couple minutes of your time? Like, you've done everything that you needed to do. So as much as like, you know, sometimes you guys are like, oh, thanks, Mark, for helping me, I'm thankful for you because you did the work, right? Hell so yeah. talked about some of those guys out there that are on the fence that are either afraid to give up some, that quality of life or their friends or, or they, the ego that they have because they, they were drawing so much fake, false, confidence right it was actually cockiness right. from the drinking right. those guys on the edge what would you tell them right about maybe clicking and seeing what we're about back here i would say go for it because if you don't make a change nothing's going to change if you know you're unhappy you need to make a change i mean we put our passion into drinking so much when we can put it into positive things that will better your life and better your, your view on yourself and it's amazing what you can do when you put that kind of passion into other things. That's awesome. Give it a try. <laughs> Give it what's, your been your favorite, 
what's been your favorite part of the of the program has it been the you know well you could do share just whatever what's your favorite part uh, just having a clear head and having other people to, to you know that can relate that have been through the same thing going through the same thing being able to help other guys through it like i'm so excited to, to support these guys and, and help them to feel this way like to it's life changing. <laughs> That's awesome. So now I get to I now I want you to pick something else. Out of all the changes, what's been your favorite one for your what's the most positive one impact for your life? Is it more money? It's, Is it more? It's, it's my daughters. Like I've always been a good dad to them, you know what I mean? So to speak. But but I I feel like I'm the best dad. The best dad there can be now. Like I get such good time with them, quality time with no interruptions. You know, just me and them. Did you ever think you could be that dad? No. No, I didn't. I'm so proud of you, man. Is there any – so so I'm going to let you go. I know you got some stuff you got to do, but is there anything you want to say to these guys out there? Talk to that one guy. This is your chance to shine. Give him that one dude that's watched this video that's hurting, he's on the edge, and he, he just wants to feel better. You or him, go. You got a couple minutes. You got to find it in yourself to take that step. You, you got to – you take that first step, man, and then once you feel a bit of victory, just the smallest amount of victory, you just want more and more and more, and you become unstoppable. It's all about <laughs> really? that unstoppable mindset, right? Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Awesome. Well, listen, Mike, I want to thank you, man, for taking the time out of your day to do this. I know sometimes they aren't the most comfortable things to talk about, but you truly are a man. You truly are a better person. I can see it. I can hear it. Like literally you, you are the epitome of a comeback every single day you show up. I'm always going to be here. I am beyond grateful and thankful for you, for what you provide to this community, for what you provide to my life, the value. It just, I'm, I'm beyond proud of you, man. I know, uh, I know you're going to do some big things in your life. Go take care of your kids. Go be the man you need to be. That conversation we just had before this, you know what to do, face it, handle it. And let's and keep going, brother.